Hey RV family, keep it I keep it tight. My name is Jay Morris, the review guy, and I'm back again to bring you another video. This is an idea that I've had circulating in my head for a while, something that has been requested, so I figured I would go ahead and just bite the bullet and try it out and see how it goes. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the current fan-made rap battle scene that was mostly spawned from epic rap battles of history, talking with some of the more premier creators at the moment, and in this video, I'm going to be featuring none other than Dustin, aka Freshy Canal on YouTube. Thanks for being here. Yo, what's poppin' peeps? It's your <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, what's up? I'm Dustin, Freshy Canal on YouTube. What else can I say? Currently at 3,000 uh, something subs. Um, doing content, still keep it going, producing rap battles nonstop. Yeah. So, one of the things about your series in particular that I think is interesting is how you have started to incorporate more and more bonus battles to kind of fill in the space between your main battle. And the thing that I was wondering is, yeah. obviously, bonus battles became mostly popular when Uberosti started doing Battle Bites. So that was like when it really started to, people started to really pay attention to quote unquote like bonus battles. Now, besides filling in the space between your main battles, what really sets apart what you consider to be a main battle and a bonus battle? What's what's the moment where you're like, all right, this is a bonus battle, this is going to be a main battle? So first of all, I don't like battles in general that are super short, like the 8-8 battle bite stereotype i think often those characters like for example let's take a battle bite um steven universe versus captain america those characters have so much room to talk about for example and i just think like okay a bonus battle shouldn't have to be short um it shouldn't even be entitled as bonus battle i just mean in general i want to expand any battle in the story it's yeah. supposed to be in the audio when a character looks in a certain way where i think okay i can not really portray them in life action or AMV or something like that well then they get drawn in general <clears throat> then if I think um, I'm really that interested in a character to make a full video with that and actually show some cool scenes represent what happened in their series like with Pennywise and Freddy Krueger for example <laughs> and replicate some scenes from um, their movies, then I want to do that. But if I think it's a like rather small character or where I'm not that interested in them, but still enough to make a battle out of them, then I sometimes go for like, okay, it's going to be bonus. I'll, I'll add a background. I'll make them bop a bit to the beat. I'll make it look cool and fresh and still interesting, but it's not like, whoa, this is happening. Like, it, it's just like that. Well, that makes sense. So another thing that I was wondering is there are quite a few few people that I've seen in comment sections that have said that in recent years fan-made battles have surpassed the quality of ERB. Do you think this is true? Do you agree with this? <sighs> well, I mean, if we're always going to go, obviously it's fan-made because it's typically inspired by ERB. It has the typical ERB formula and people learn from ERB how to do their stuff. I do too. I love ERB, obviously. But I feel like every single series has their own style to it, that it's like a unique spin-off of it. Cartoon made rap battles is that typical picture it's painting of um, fast editing that you go through with the, you know, masked out characters in their own way. Then it off always... Yeah, it always has these, like, custom beats often, then really light and yeah. uh, cartoony uh, voice acting with quirky voices. And then you have the other style of ERB. You also got uh, video game rap battles, which nowadays are usually in SFM animation. And each series is just brought in, like, their own kind of style now. Now, the question was uh, if, if uh, they're often better than some ERBs. Yeah, I would say so. Um, sometimes in ERB, the intention from what they're wanting to explore with the character gets missed. Like, in my opinion, with the uh, Vlad versus Drac battle. You know, like, when Dracula dissed Vlad only two times and it wasn't even that savage and you're like oh come on this was a kind of missed opportunity and then um the backgrounds are just like some some green fog and you're like oh, come on dracula is such a big character then i think yeah a battle like freddy fazbear versus uh the beast from uberosity explores a much better story than 
a missed opportunity from ERB. But generally, obviously, ERB has the bigger budget. They have the proper actors and people that know what they're doing while we're fan-made people. It sounds so weird. We're, 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 we're kids. We're, uh almost adults often or just uh, became adults who have um, limited equipment and try to make the most fun projects out of that each to their own with the intentions of it and yeah well one thing that you mentioned during that was video game rap battles and something that i've noticed and i think somewhat i've i started seeing it more with his battles recently is i feel like mainstream rap or just actual rap genres in general are starting to have a major impact on rap battles whether it be through the styles that people incorporate vocally or the type of beats that they use like cam likes to use very distorted heavy bass boosted type beats people will incorporate different flow like in uh danny's battles like he'll do musicians and will try to like stay true to their form do you think that mainstream rap is having some sort of impact on rap battles nowadays um yeah um definitely it, it's an improvement in um flow ability and uh being consistent with stuff if i'm a fan of it in rap battles sometimes but um so cam has this typical thing where like like vgrb cam is what i'm talking about not titanium where he uh gets inspired by a musician and wants to keep the flow consistent in a rap battle like you hear one uh triplet going through a whole verse for example and it doesn't like change up that much so it's like a consistent flow that just bops your yeah. hat too and um then you have erb who puts um comedy and jokes on a higher pedestal than musical representation so then there's like four bars that have one flow and then the flow gets switched up which i'm a fan of more yeah because i like when a battle um can offer more different stuff like for example erb wolverine when he goes like um so and then the flow gets changed in the next two bars and then it's like it, it, it's like oh oh we going hard okay okay i feel you i feel you bro i feel you and then yeah, they're having to appease a large fan base, so they're trying to have kind of something for everyone. Yeah, exactly. You know. Um, but I think it's a good inspiration in a way, which is always often the case with um, smaller rap battle series that they miss that aspect um, and just flow somehow on the beat, sometimes cram syllables in there sometimes there are not enough syllables but then get someone who does a flow test for them who decently knows how to flow and then just kind of like stumbles their writing onto that beat and yeah it depends so freshy canal me <laughs> Who would you like to collaborate with? If you could have someone that you'd like to have in your project, who would you like to have? Do you have anyone that you're like, man, I just love to work with them? Yeah. Um, I, I've set a goal for this year. Obviously, this is probably not going to happen, but like, it's a, it's a wish. I would, on one side, love to collaborate with Crypt. I, I think he, he has some fantastic flow abilities that I'd love to explore in a rap battle. Um, and on the other hand, like, I mean, you, you've seen, I, I collaborated with We Scheme. Oh yeah, I that was a big one. I, I talked about it with him in a call and it was like, yo, you could maybe collab with Crypt if you have the right project, if you have the right timing and you ask him, obviously it's going to cost something. But if, if he's interested in the project, then he might do it. I'm like, all right, I'll, I'll shoot him an email sometime maybe. And on the other hand, I would love to cast um, Stupendium as uh, either Jack the Ripper or Ebenezer Scrooge. Thank God for that you didn't say Baldy. <laughs> Everyone yeah, wants him to cool. play Baldy. <laughs> so I guess for the closing thoughts... Where do you see the fan-made scene going forward? Do you think it's going to continue to have a lot of longevity? Do you see the scene growing in some way? What do you expect? A lot of people say uh, rap battles are dying, but honestly, they never are. Like, even if I leave, if you would leave, if Seth would yeah. leave, if Mancha would leave, there's still going to be new people. And ERB came back. I mean, probably yeah. the, the sentence of saying, like, uh, that rap battles are dying was inspired by the fact that ERB had a long ass break and no one knew what was happening. But now that they're back and continue inspiring and s the series are still happening with new games, new movies coming out and content to make rap battles about, I don't think it's ever going to die. And I think all our channels are evolving to a point where it's going to be really fun in a few years. Um 
to have a huge, huge fan base with a lot of channels. Uh, I, I hope at least. I can't guarantee that, obviously, but I really hope that in a yeah that in a few years we all have like a really large fan base and huge community. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, if you think about it, like back in the day, back when basically ERB parodies was the first ERB parody series, or quote unquote parody. It was like maybe you'd get a couple hundred views, maybe you'd get a couple thousand. The dislikes would usually be really high because the quality wasn't that ironed out yet. Yep. And if you think about now, there's a lot more channels with higher view weights, with higher subscriber rates. You got like the CMRBs, the Uberosities, your channel. I mean, you have tons of these different series that are mm -hmm. coming around centered around different things. You have video game rap battles and Pokemon rap battles. They're all growing larger than... I bet anyone really could have anticipated five years ago. So, I mean, yeah. hopefully it'll continue to grow. I think it will continue to grow. Agreed. And, yeah, so thank you so much for being here. Obviously... No problem. Uh, his channel's going to be in the description box below. Definitely go watch all of his content. He has some really great rap battles. I voice acted some of his rap battles. Shameless plug. But yeah, very, very high quality stuff. Really excited to see where you go in the future with your growth. Thank you so much for being here. Do you got any closing me. thoughts? Um, stay tuned for more content. Um, <laughs> keep it high, keep it tight. It's a <laughs> uh, and yeah, just, you know, keep watching the stuff. I can comment in. Subscribe and blah 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 blah, blah. you know how it goes. Alright. Farewell. Go ahead, Boom. live your best life.